this video will deal with translating English sentences into an equation that we can then solve. So the first thing we need to do is to be able to figure out what our unknown is and what it represents so that we can then translate into the equation, solve it, and then write a sentence at the final step. So we have this problem, the difference of a number and 10 is negative 55 and it says find the number. Usually when you look at what it asks you to find, you'll be able to figure out what your variable is supposed to be. So I'm going to let the variable be in and it's going to represent the number. So now we're ready to translate. So when you see the difference, remember that's subtract. And a number, that's our variable, that's the n, and 10 is, translates to equal, negative 55. So let's do that. We have a difference of the number, and 10 is negative 55. So now we're ready to solve. Our subtracting 10 from this n, so to get it to the other side, we have to do the opposite or add 10 to both sides. So n is going to be equal to negative 45. And if we check that, just to make sure we found the right number, negative 45 would be our n minus 10 is equal to negative 55. And we can add the opposite here. We have negative 45 plus a negative 10, which is a negative 55. And it's still equal to our negative 55. So our number really is negative 45, and that's what we write as our sentence. The number is negative 45. Three times the number equals twice the sum of the number and 12. All right, we have a number. It says find the number, so that again is going to be our variable. This time I'm going to let it be x, just because you can use any variable you want to. So I'm going to change it up. So this is our number. So we have 3 times the number equal, that's obvious what you're going to translate that one to, twice the sum, so 2 times the sum of the number and 12. This is, is kind of tricky, but let's just take it one step at a time. 3 times the number, so that's 3n, equal, then twice means 2 times, but 2 times what? 2 times the sum. So that means we need to have a parenthesis so that we can contain our sum. And the sum is going to be the number and 12. So now we're ready to solve. We need to copy down 3n on this side, but we need to distribute on the right-hand side. So 2 times n will be 2n, and 2 times 12 will be plus 24. And when I'm solving, I'm going to subtract the 2 in so that I can get the 24 up by itself and collect all the ends on the other side. And 3 in is larger, so I'm going to subtract 2 in. That leaves me with n equal 24. Okay, so let's check that just to double check. So 3 times 24, I'm going to run out of space here, so I'll do this side and then I'll do the other side. 72. And on the other side, we have 2 times 24, that's equal to 2 times 36, which is equal to 72. And both these numbers are the same, so we know that the number is 24. We answered the question they asked us. One last one. 6 less than 5 times a number is more than 4 times the number. So here we are again. We need to choose a variable, and let's just go back to n for number, and it is the number. These are, so 6 less than, remember 6 less than means that my order is going to switch, and then 5 times a number, and we called that n, is, translates to equal, 2 more, that means more than means plus, 4 times, so 4 times and then the number. So, we switch the order, so I do the 5 times first. So 5 times a number less than my 6, so it's 6 less than 5 times my number, is 2 more than 4 times the number. So 2 plus 4n. Okay.
Now we're ready to solve. We've got n's on both sides. We've got constants on both sides. Let's move the n so that we can keep it positive. So 4n is smaller than 5n, so I'm going to subtract 4n from both sides. And so on this side I have n, but I still have minus 6 equal to 2. Now I want to get the 6 to the right hand side, so it's being subtracted. So to take it to the other side I have to do the opposite and add 6. And that tells us that n is equal to 8. So if I come back over here and double check it, I have 5 times n, which is 8, minus 6 should be equal to 2 plus 4 times n, which is 8. 5 times 8 is 40 minus 6, and 40 minus 6 would be 34 equal to, and on this side we have 2 plus 4 times 8 is 32, and 2 plus 32 is 34. So we know that the number is 8.